camerounaise et mauricien. Puis en deuxième période, une pluie de buts. Parce que vous ne l'avez certainement pas oublié, ce Cameroun a toujours été punitif face à l'île Maurice. Tenez par exemple la plus proche, hein, la dernière rencontre. Elle remonte au 3 septembre 2011. Cameroun, île Maurice, c'était du 5 buts à 0 éliminatoire. Couplé de la Coupe du monde et de la canne. Oh, it is Brian Bemba who was already uh, busting through into the six. But that was a bit too long to get to Chiote. At this moment, Cameroon yet to score. But remember yesterday, Egypt beat Djibouti six goals to zero. So my friend, if you're talking about the 12th year, five goals to zero, then by now Cameroon should start scoring even at least one. If that should repeat itself, Kevin Brun for the Mauritius, trying to negotiate play at that level. It is Mumbanya who comes in and then he's brought down in the median again by Kevin Brun. Il y a eu un Stop. pied un peu trop haut là sur euh, pratiquement d'abord le menton de Franck Zambo Anguissa, ensuite euh, sur euh, Pemi Mobanya, un coup franc donc pour euh, le Cameroun. But that is far in the center circle. I was saying that Egypt in their first World Cup qualifier beat it Djibouti, six goals to zero. The DR Congo beat uh, Mauritania two goals to zero. All of that was uh, yesterday. We equally recorded at Burundi, three goals to two against the Gambia. And Gabon beat Kenya two goals to one as far as victories are concerned. So, should Cameroon get a victory, then by now, they should start thinking about scoring a goal. Beautiful one there for Chamadou, who gets into the six, takes a shot. Oh! Gets into the hands of Chioti, goalkeeper for the Mauritius. Fidi Rasaul. The coach for the Mauritius will tell himself that I was right to bring in this uh, goalkeeper. Oh my, Fidi Raswanaifo. What a great contribution. Shiote is for the team. Again, the Mauritius had a difficult moment in their football history. Over in the Mauritius, the 1.2 million people, they love football, but it's not a local championship because every time there's a local championship match, you will get just a handful of persons in the stadium. And my friend, it's a likely thing in Africa, whenever there is a Champions League in, the, in Europe, everybody watching. And sometimes it is not always the case with many persons going to the stadium to watch the local championship. And it is a strong case with the Mauritius, La except now they have de moments Bru. to break up. This is Jeremy Villeneuve. Et la défense camerounaise qui peut la récupérer. Franck Zambo Anguissa pour uh, Darlin, pour uh, Karl Toko et Kambi. Il est passé. Uh, L'attaquant uh, ailier des Lions et Dontables qui cherche appui. Il y a Chama 2 qui uh, uh, demande uh, ici. Il y aura la faute parce qu'il y a eu un uh, retenu de la part de Chamado qui avait pressenti qu'il perdait le ballon c'est le premier carton jaune donc Looks too early, pour euh, la première titularisation euh, du junior Chamado But after you, you have to uh, admire how much confidence Chamado plays with plenty of confidence quite sure of himself in the way he's handling this game junior Chamado who plays for Stoke City in this uh, game He's bringing in everything and contributing his uh, everything. Four matches already for him. And several times he's won the uh, EVE AFL award for the young player. Here we go with Wilson Mutu. He looks up. It is uh, Christopher Woheader that takes it off the Cameroonian section. And it is Kauto Koekame. The fans are calling on him to move forward and not to look backwards. C'est un réflexe hein, côté mauricien. Aussitôt ballon perdu. Euh, on rentre dans sa moitié de terrain pour créer le surnombre en défense. C'est compliqué donc euh, la tâche aux Lions et Dontable dans leur euh, tentative euh, de monter. And so far they have succeeded in that, eh? because every time they miss the ball, you see all of them going back. 11 white shirts in their own side of the camp. Il est passé Chamadeu. Chamadeu encore. 
dans cet exercice qu'on lui connaît et qui provoque la faute. That was Mumbanya Rada. Faris Pemi Mumbanya. We take that action again in slow motion replay. Look at what happened. He stopped. He tries to break forward. It is Lindsay Rose that brings in a foul. And the referee has not been able to say anything. Ahmed Arajiga. However, it's going to be a free kick for Cameroon. Enième coup franc pour le Cameroon à cette première période. Vous comprenez que c'est le point d'impact hein, des offensives du Cameroun, ce taxe. Et à ce niveau, euh, ils sont obligés, les Mauriciens, de commettre la faute. Brian Beaumont et puis Karl Toko et Kambi du droit, sûrement. C'est pas bien du tout. C'est passé euh, euh, largement au-dessus. With the so many free kicks they've taken already, you will begin to ask yourself if they are, if it is not possible to look for another strategy to handle the free kicks. Because uh, the volleys seem to go far above the woodwork. Karl Toko et Kambi, who was very, very ready. And took that one, could not get uh, the uh, goalpost inciting that one. Close, just about seven minutes into regulation. Cameroon yet to score. The Mauritians are doing quite a great work to uh, defend their goalpost. It has been a stable game, 0-0 zero, zero for Cameroon and huh? the Mauritians. And the Nana, sa troisième touche de balle en 40 minutes. <laughs> Omar Gonzalez pour Jean-Charles Castelletto. Le Nantais qui n'a pas de solution et s'arrête. Yvan Neyou, il est passé devant Aurélien François. Darlene Yonkwa, cette fois-ci. Neyou, la talonnade. Le centre de Darlene, contré. Deuxième chance peut-être pour le Camerounais. Neyou pour Castelletto. Il y avait un peu d'espace, voici Chama 2, Castelletto à nouveau, Bemo, Zambo, Neyou, Toko, Neyou. Toko answers the question, he looks up, he takes a shot, Brian Bemo was already riding up front, but he couldn't go through, Castelletto stays on, Chama 2 looks up, it is blocked by a Mauritian, and this is the corner kick for Cameroon. What a moment, what a moment. You would notice that at every moment, six Mauritians are lined up at the defense, kind of packing the train for the Mauritians. And here is uh, Brian Burma to take that corner kick. The entire 21 are in the Mauritian circle of the game. Can he hear that come in? Uh, but he went a ball for Christopher Wu. The dancing is not going to stop. The singing will not stop. 40 minutes into the game, they have been singing and dancing, and the goal has not yet come. The dancing and the singing and the celebration won't stop. For the Mauritians, those on the reserve bench are up, trying to warm up. 41 minutes already, just four more minutes into regulation. The entire dream, the expectation from coach and players as far as Cameroon is concerned that they get a victory in this game to begin their World Cup expedition because you say they're going to be playing against uh, Libya. That is going to be on the 21st. Look at that. In front of the coach. <laughs> Devant l'arbitre, plutôt. In front of the referee. There was this appel de Faris Pemi Boubanya qui a été repéré par le capitaine mauricien Lindsay Rose. Remember Lindsay Rose said during the press conference that he has played in France, so he knows so many Cameroonians, or they are all friends, and so it's going to be a nice meeting today. Ah oui, Lindsay Rose uh, qui a été uh, espoir français justement, moins de 20 ans, moins de 18 ans aussi. Il a évolué uh, uh, dans cette sélection avec uh, plus d'un Camerounais dans cette uh, sélection. Sous les couleurs françaises, euh, pays de sa mère, avant de replier donc en île Maurice, pays de son père. And then he said that it was great joy to come back to the Mauritius, his father's country, 
He's already played at junior level for his mother's country. That is what he said. <laughs> and then he's come now to actually play for the Mauritius. Brian Bermer breaking through, bursting through, sweeping through, except he's brought down again. Another moment, another foul against Brian Bermer this time by Villeneuve Jeremy. Very much against ah, il est bien malin. the Brian supporters. Bermer. Toujours, euh, il met son pied ou son corps en opposition pour poser euh, le défenseur à la faute. Il offre là un autre coup franc à la sélection camerounaise. Ah, il faut bien que le génie du coup franc camerounais puisse s'exprimer parce que il est muselé jusqu'ici. Il garde le mutisme depuis plusieurs occasions déjà. Cette fois-ci, euh, on voit quatre joueurs pratiquement avec... Euh, Faris Pemi, Moubaya, André Franck, Zambo Anguissa, le capitaine du jour. Now let's see who takes it. Frank Zambo Anguissa, the captain, has taken the matters into his hands. Is he the one to take the shot? It is a dangerous position for the Mauritius. The shot is taken, crashes against the Mauritius block. Another shot comes in again from Zambo Anguissa. But this time, he takes it out. It is corner kick for Cameron. Oh, Adele Lange stopped the second shot. The first shot was stopped there by Jordan Francois. And then Adele Lange takes it off. Corner kick for Cameron. Two minutes to jouer encore avant la fin uh, du temps réglementaire. Le corner pour le Cameroun. Exécution. Uh, Toko et Kambi. The strength of the Cameroonian team will be seen in how they succeed to dismantle this defensive game by the Mauritius. A header from Christopher Wo into the hands of Dorian Chiote. It is coach Fidi Rosanaivo's choice to bring Dorian Chiote and to keep. Uh, Kevin on the bench and it's working very very well but of course the strength of the Cameroonian team the ability of the Cameroonian attackers will be to dismantle this defensive play by the Mauritius it is incumbent upon them to do so Brian Bermer goes right back to pick up this one he has uh, the entire real estate in front of him but three players Chamado breaks in ah it's already gone very quickly. Chamade calls for the ball. Make no time to spend, no time to waste. Three minutes. Les trois minutes de temps additionnel. Possession de balle pour le Cameroun. Christophe Wo dans le temps monté. Darlene Yongoa. Excentré à la gauche. Yongoa qui gagne son duel. Qui va résister à la charge juste après. Les Camerounais toujours. Toko et Kambi. Peut-être que Darlene Yongwa, non, il ne pourra pas. Ce sera une sortie de touche pour cette équipe camerounaise. Il y a un acrobatique clairance qui est venu de Jordan Francois pour clair of danger. As Darlene Yongwa was already getting strong. Now you come to help uh, Darlene Yongwa. Now you and Yongwa have uh, five white shirts to sweep out of the success. The ball is in the uh, Mauritian six. And then he will go right behind. Ah. Omar Gonzalez. For the five minutes wasted already. Now they are playing with the additional three minutes. The Mauritians have succeeded so much and so far to prevent any goal from coming in. And the Cameroonians have not had any success so far to break that anathema. But right in, Christopher Wo gets in, takes a shot. Brian Bema, another header. Kick it, Brian Bema scores. Le but, la signature de Brian Bomo. Vous voyez l'excellent travail de Christophe Wo. La frappe d'abord qui est repoussée du pied dans un premier temps. Ce n'est la tête que Brian Bomo tente de marquer. Ensuite, il va réagir par le pied. Vous le voyez ici, cette balle repoussée dans un premier temps. Et là, la tête 
du joueur de Brentford à frappe en force. Et le but, c'est une forte récompense à tous les efforts de ce joueur. Troisième but en sélection nationale. Le Kedat, goalkeeper Dorian Chiote, is like an orange octopus covered with hands and legs. However, a moment comes when his ability to use his hands and legs fail him and he is left naked in between the sticks with Brian Bremer firing in the opener for this game. Now the Lions can go back into the dressing room heads high. Brian Bremer, troisième but donc en sélection nationale. Excellent en sélection, excellent en championnat, en première ligue. Brian Bremer, c'est 12 matchs cette <laughs> saison et 6 buts marqués avec son club Belfort. I mean,